WUTT TV presents DIY in 10 or less. And here this week we have an exciting new craft with your host, Zainab Ashraf. art for your room, living room, anywhere in your house. Well, you're going to start off with a uh, 16 by 20 canvas, and I've already drawn a base on here, but you can go ahead and outline that with like pencil, and then we're going to go over it with either, it's your choice, you could use uh, acrylic paint or even marker. Well, saving time, because acrylic paint is going to take long to dry, um, I'm going to use marker just to outline the vase in black. Here we go. And just outline all of it because you want it to show up instead of the pencil and this marker is not working. But it's okay. I'll go over it with um, paint whenever uh, we get to the end if we have a bit of time. Oh God. Hold on. And then you could also use like uh, gold to go in between the lines if you want. It's up to you how you want it to be colored or painted. Okay. And um, I actually have like a wall in my room dedicated to like all the canvas art that I've done in the past. Like I like to do a lot of acrylic stuff, like I guess stuff you see off Pinterest, things like that. Oh man, this marker is not working. That's okay, we'll go over it after in the end. I guess we could just get to the other part. Um, to make this actually 3D, you want to um, cut a line over here with like an X-Acto knife. And I'm gonna do that, one second. Be careful and don't cut yourself, because I've done that. There we go. Cut it all the way through. Maybe even go a bit more off the sides just to make sure you get all those flowers in. And then you can go to either Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels to find like these fake flowers. I would actually go to Walmart because Michael overcharges you. Literally one flower is like five dollars and I was like no I'm not doing that. So um, and then you want to get these flowers and these were much longer so I use like this um, just wire cutting thingy, little small one. It actually sucks. And then uh, I used an X-Acto knife to cut it off and um, just to shave them down a bit. And then you want to take Hold on, these flowers and just arrange them however you'd like. Like, pick the ones that you want to do. I bought quite an assortment and we'll see how we want them arranged. And then you could start by putting them through so they go like this, like that. And see, so you got them in, so it's going to look like that. If you can see that and just move them however you want just keep taking different colors I guess and arranging it however it aesthetically pleases you there we go some of these are actually really long so I mean we'll just keep playing with it and if it's too long then we can I guess put it down and after we come back from the break I'll continue on with putting these flowers okay Are you tired of always being bullied for being too small? Then we have just the thing for you, Mighty Band. This invention will give you the immediate strength you need. Oh, gee, this I'm gonna show you the walker. Not this time, you won't. This is for. Okay, and we're back with TIY 
a DIY tenor list. Um, I'm Zainab Ashraf, and I was, as I was doing before, I'm putting these flowers in behind the canvas, and because they're wires inside, you can like bend them around however you want, so you can position them in whatever way that you want. Like if you want some forward, if you want some back, it just takes, it's honestly your personal preference and it takes a bit of work and just, I guess since the canvas itself is white and the vase is black, I wanted to add color. So I brought a lot of colorful flowers in. They're actually really cheap. I like one little bouquet of them is like right now they're like 15 cents out. Walmart, so I mean, but then you have the ones that are like super expensive, like the orchids or something, those are super duper expensive. But, and then we also, I also got some of this uh, greenery and um, to add a little bit green to it. So I'm just putting that around. Let's see, then we have these purple ones. Purple ones and then Oh, I got this one. This is the orchid one that I was talking about. That was actually really expensive. <laughs> but I got it anyway. Okay, and then just keep adding them around wherever you see that there's space lacking or something. And the back of it, what we're going to do for it to not move, we're going to hot glue this down. So that's why I have the hot glue going. Kind of ready. Okay, and might have overestimated the flower usage. Got a lot, but just in case we needed extra. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to, um, this is how it looks from the front, and it's falling, so I'm going to turn it around <laughs> and glue it down. Yeah, this is how we want it to look. Let's see how that looks. Okay. And then you're just going to go back here and just start hot gluing them down. Be careful to not burn yourself because I do that a lot. Okay. And then just go in. And hot glue it down. Okay. Underneath. And make sure you get a lot of hot glue because honestly, it's not going to stick down if you don't. And we don't want it to move because then it could just ruin your whole, I guess, the whole piece, honestly. It's moving around. Okay. Just keep it going. I'm gonna hot glue it down a lot because I don't want it to move. I'm actually gonna put this in my room probably, give it some more finishing touches that I want. Okay. Oh, these run out really fast. <coughs> so then just keep going. Because you want it to stay and it's kind of hard because some of these wires are actually quite thick they're hard to cut too okay okay it's not really staying down so I mean I guess you could use tape if you needed to just to save time oh god here we go found it okay and I have the egg Enough. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so then here is how it looks. And this is the finishing touches. I mean, you could go in and make these darker. I didn't have time and the marker wasn't running, but this is the look. And if you want to see more like this, then tune in to my website and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.